Welcome to Earth Science Fun. Today I'll be reviewing a YouTube video titled Top 5 Coolest Looking Rocks Ever Found by Top 5s. The video has a little over 4.3 million views and the like-dislike ratio isn't too bad, so I have pretty high expectations. Along the way I'll honestly point out the good and bad parts of the video and will do my best to stay scientifically accurate. Let's check it out! Mother Nature can create some truly beautiful things. Today's video is on the top 5 coolest minerals ever found. Rocks and minerals are not the same thing. The video title should be changed to Top 5 Coolest Minerals Ever Found. Number 5. This man is exploring an abandoned gemstone and uranium mine in northern Canada. Exploring abandoned mines is a really bad idea, especially old uranium mines. Aside from the radioactivity, loose rock in the mine could collapse and crush the person exploring. Lack of oxygen or the presence of poisonous mine gas is also a danger. We also don't know if the person in the video had permission to collect there or if they're claim jumping. Mines that might look abandoned may be owned by somebody and property rights should be respected. He later discovers a piece of what looks like blue azurite, one of the most visually stunning gemstones. Um, that isn't azurite. It's probably labradorite. Even with the blurry video, you can see the stone showing labradorescence. If he was luckier, he may have found a larger piece like this one. Azurite is quite rare as far as minerals go. This piece would be worth several thousand dollars. The price will vary greatly depending on the size of the specimen and the locality. There isn't enough info to say that that piece is worth thousands. There's a fair amount of filler in this video, so I'll be skipping ahead in a few places. Number 4. Turmaline is a gemstone that is classified as being semi-rare and comes in a wide variety of colors. The correct pronunciation is tourmaline. The Burmese variant of tremeline is by far the most interesting due to its striking bright pink color, a rarity in nature. Pink gem tourmaline is called rubellite, not the Burmese variant. Burma is the locality and rubellite is the variety. Also, blue tourmaline is more rare than pink. Pariba tourmaline is some of the most valuable per carat. I made a video on tourmaline varieties a while back, and I'll link it at the end of the video if you'd like to check it out. Number 3. Titanium Quartz is one of the most beautiful and interesting looking minerals around. Wait, did he just say Titanium Quartz? The narrator knows that stuff is man-made, right? Those are Arkansas Quartz Crystals, but not Titanium Quartz. These guys are lucky to come across a whole cluster at a quartz mine in Arkansas. Okay, this is completely dishonest. The layout of the video implies that cleaning regular quartz crystals will magically turn them into titanium quartz once the dirt comes off. The titanium coating is man-made. If you listen close, you can even hear the person in the original video say, It's been infused with titanium to make all the beautiful rainbow colors. If you search on YouTube, you can find the video clips the top fives took from a bunch of other content creators. I wonder if he asked permission. I don't know one way or the other, but it is concerning. Number two, this person finds a very large sunset fire opal in the ground. A fitting name considering its appearance resembles a beautiful sunset. Fire opal is pretty cool stuff. Opal is one of the main gems I deal in. Talk about an awesome day, that's a great find. This is what it looks like after being cleaned and polished. 
This isn't a fire opal. The term fire opal refers to the orange color of the stone, not the play of color. This is probably an Ethiopian precious opal with orange fire, but not a fire opal. Now this faceted stone actually is a fire opal. This could be a jelly opal or fire opal, but it's hard to tell with the lighting. This looks a lot more like Ethiopian chocolate opal than fire opal. And finally, number one, an opal mine is being explored by these group of friends. It is in mines like this that you might find one of these, an ultra rare galaxy opal it is almost like nature imprinted the universe itself in rock form. This type of opal is called contraluz. Contraluz opals have play of color when backlit as well as excellent clarity. Without the color play, it would probably be classified as a jelly opal. I found some more info on this particular stone and will link my sources in the description. The term galaxy opal could refer to several things. There's a type of synthetic opal with the trade name galaxy opal. Then there's THE Galaxy Opal, which is a precious opal that was entered in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest polished opal in 1992. It was found in 1976 in the Boi Morto mine in Brazil. That's a borosilicate glass marble with synthetic opal chips inside. Natural opal contains water and would explode if you tried to use it in blown glass. While it's a cool marble, it is definitely man-made and wouldn't technically be classified as a mineral. That's another glass marble with synthetic opal inside. And that's the video. Overall, I'd have to give it a 2 out of 10, and that's being pretty generous. There's a ton of misinformation, and it's clear that almost no research went into making the video. I have no ill will towards the content creator, but these massive errors needed to be corrected. I feel that being a good scientist means correcting misinformation in a constructive way when it occurs. This video, while it does have some pretty minerals, has potentially misled millions of people. I'd also like to note that I'm not monetizing this video. I found that a bunch of the clips that Top 5's used were made by other content creators on YouTube. I don't know if he had permission to use the original content, and any one of those content creators could potentially claim their work. If you'd like to support my channel, please like and subscribe. I also sell mineral specimens on eBay and add new listings when I have time. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!